Hi there, I'm Jennifer, Minds and Motion Coordinator with the Alzheimer's Society of Waterloo, Wellington. And I'm here today to do a little activity with you, a memory activity, um, all themed around spring. I want to help uh, get you in the mood for spring and uh, just sort of check in and make sure that you're uh, keeping your brain working there, stimulated, and uh, hopefully also to have a little bit of fun. So what I've done is I've collected 16 just everyday items that you would have around your house that all have something to do with spring. Hopefully they'll be items that you're familiar with. I'm going to bring them out one at a time and just display them here on the table. I don't want you to write anything down at this point. Just, just notice what I'm bringing out. I'll describe them. I want to see that uh, you try to commit them to your memory. Maybe try to make some mental associations with items that you have around your house or things you've used in the past. Um, if you're doing this activity with someone, maybe have a little conversation together. I won't go too quickly. And then once I have all the items out, I'm going to encourage you to pause the video and then get out a piece of paper and write down 1 to 16 and then just see how many items you can remember and then start the video again and I will again start with a clean table and bring them all back and you can see how you did. Okay, so have fun and just let's see how it goes. So let's see what I've got here to start. So I'm going to start with some of the bigger items here just because they're going to take up some space. Um, I'm sure you're familiar with these. These are paper yard waste bags. We all have them now because we can't put our yard waste right into the garden or the garbage rather. We have to collect them. They're always a little tricky to open up I find that um, <laughs> I, I actually tend to open them up and pull them over my head my husband always likes to make a joke about how I look better with the bag over my head uh, anyway um, and careful not to rip them but uh, this is what you want to start putting all of the things you're going to rake up from your backyard leaves sticks that type of thing and put them in these bags and then have a special day when they're going to go out in the garb the garbage um, we know in the spring we always get lots of rain. We always say that April showers bring May flowers. So I've got some items here that you'd want for the rain. I've got my funky hair leopard skin umbrella. I'm going to put this in a place where you can see the whole thing. I'm sure everybody's got an umbrella at home, but certainly something you're going to want to have handy for this time of the year. I've also got my very uh, special <laughs> rain boots. Um, I got these, I don't know, some time ago, but uh, certainly I was drawn to the pattern. You guys know how much I like patterns. So here are my rain boots. You wanna have those handy. I actually sometimes wear those in the garden as well. Let's see, so keeping in the gardening vein, this is certainly something that happens this time of the year. We want to get outside, we want to start to clean up our gardens, see how things have managed over the winter. I've got this um, just simple garden trowel. This one's got a pattern of flowers on it, came from the dollar store, so maybe not the best quality, but you can see the point here to be able to dig it into the ground, to dig up bulbs, that type of thing. So I'm gonna just put down that garden trowel and then uh, I've got some uh, pots here. We'll just call this one item, right? These would be your uh, terracotta pots if you wanted to get really specific, but you might be putting some small seeds in these to get them going and then planting them in their garden later on in the summer. But certainly I'm sure most of us that have a garden have these little pots around that we're gonna use this time of the year. Speaking of seeds, um, I have a very sad looking packet of seeds here. It's been used before, I think, for this activity. This is actually for some radishes. I don't know if that's something that you would grow in your garden, but um, I'm sure you're familiar with this type of seed package. You can hear that sound shaking away, and that would be the small seeds that would be inside the package. Okay, so I'm going to put that on. Actually, that's, you're not going to see that if I put that there. I'm just going to put this over here by the umbrella. And then if you're gonna be going out this time of the year, we wanna put some kind of sunscreen on to protect ourselves from the sun. Um, this is uh, you know, very high, <laughs> high SPF, but certainly we want to be using this and we don't wanna forget about it. So let's just put that, maybe we're gonna put that right in behind here, our uh, yard waste bag. And then again, protecting ourselves from the sun, sunglasses, something you're going to want to bring out at this time of the year. There you go. I think these are my son's sunglasses, but they, they work for our purposes here. I'm just going to put those on the table. Actually, where can I put them? There you go. Perfect. And a hat as well for the sun. Protect yourselves. Again, 
Um, what do you think? <laughs> so here's my hat. I'm going to put that in a place where you can see it. Not blocking anything. Excellent. So we're protected from the sun. What else do we have here? Um, certainly as the weather starts to get warmer, right, the bugs start to come out. I don't know if any of you use a fly swatter. This is actually <laughs> kind of fancy. It extends. So there you go. It can go long or short. We're going to just put that down there when those bugs come out. We're out in the garden, so we're probably going to get the hose going because we've got to start to water some of the things. This would be your, um, you know, again, we talked about, my husband and I talked about what this is called. I, I guess it's called a hose nozzle or a spray you would attach to the end of your hose and you squeeze on it and then you get sort of a different type of, um, I guess, water coming out from the front of it. But I'm sure you've been, you've, you're familiar with these. This is a particularly cheap one, I must say. It's from the dollar store. But I think you know what I mean with that. Uh, what else do I have here? I've got some, um, some hand, little hand clippers here. This is a nice uh, pair of friskers. They actually need to be cleaned though, so they're a little bit stiff, so that's something that I've got to do as well. But you're going to take these out in the garden, maybe clip away some of the dead wood, maybe some of your plants. You didn't get a chance to cut them down in the fall. You're going to get out there in the spring and do some cutting, so certainly something you're going to have on hand for the spring. Put those over by our hat. And then let's get into another gardening item. So I've got some gloves here, right? It doesn't take much to get uh, dirty when you're out in the garden. So having on a good pair of garden gloves is going to help to protect your hand, keep them clean. These are a, a fresh pair, nice turquoise color. And I'm going to put these down where you can see them. Maybe I'll just pull my pot back there. Hopefully everyone can see all the items that I've got. Remember there's 16 of them. I still have a few more. We're going to get into a couple of fun items. Certainly the spring gets us outside being more active. Um, <laughs> maybe, maybe you're not getting on your bike or maybe you are. You want to have uh, something to make some sound as you're moving around. Again, this is a little bell for your bike, right? Might remind you of the grandchildren. Maybe when your kids were young ringing their bell when they first learned how to ride their bike um, or maybe you have one on your own bike so there's a there's a bell for your bike always a nice sound to hear in the spring when you hear people out on their bikes um, for those of you that like to golf we're going to call this one item so this would be uh, a golf ball and some tees I can't say I've ever been a golfer, but I certainly am familiar with these here. You would want to use those on the golf course, get your, I guess, your, your golf clubs out, etc. But we'll just call that one item. We'll just call them golf, golf ball and pins. Yeah, you're not going to see that. Maybe, yeah, here we go. There's a spot for it right there. Okay, so golf ball and, not pins, tees. Tees, they're called. Tees, John? Okay. Okay. I think these are, yeah, golf tees. You put the ball on and hit it, right? You guys are, yeah, okay. You get the gist. Um, and I know all of you are big, <laughs> big skippers. Um, maybe not something you're doing these days. I don't know. Maybe you're holding the end for the grandchildren, but I certainly think of skipping as being, you know, a great spring activity for the young kids to get out and do. Uh, I remember when I was young, I was a big skipper. <laughs> I love double dutch. I know we've talked about that in our groups as well. So here's a, a fun skipping rope that certainly brings back some childhood memories and hopefully makes you think of springtime. Now that's going to hide behind our hat. I'm running out of space here. Boy, I have more items than I realize. Okay, I've got one more thing just because it's appropriate right now because of everything that is happening in the world. I've got some hand sanitizer. So whenever you go out, come back in, you want to use your hand sanitizer. So let's, let's put that out. I think it's very, very appropriate for these times that we're living in and something that we should remind, be reminded of. So here you go. Here's my spring collection of items. I'm just going to go through them again very quickly. We've got our sun hat. We've got some um, uh, hand clippers or little garden shears here. These are Frisker brand. Uh, we've got our yard waste bag underneath here, the paper yard waste bag. We've got a very funky pair of sunglasses to protect our eyes. We've got for the golfers, we're gonna call this one item, just 
golf ball and tee, okay? Or you can just say golfing things if that's what you can remember. Um, think of being out on the golf course. We've got our skipping rope for all of you skippers. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. All right, I see you see into my arm there. That was very good. Okay, bad timing. Uh, we've got some sunscreen here. Don't forget that. We've got our little hand nozzle for our hose uh, in order to um, squirt people that are bothering you or squirt the flowers. We've got our fly swatter here, very old fashioned way here of getting the, uh, the bugs. We've got our garden gloves here, a nice brand new pair of turquoise garden gloves. We've got our terracotta pots. I've got two sizes there. We've got the bell. I gotta let you hear that for your bike when you go out for your bike ride. A very sad looking package of seeds. These are radish seeds. We've got our garden trowel. Uh, April showers bring May flowers. So when it rains, we've got our umbrella here and we've got a funky pair of rain boots. And the one last thing, yes, good old hand sanitizer. Uh, very much um, in fashion these days, okay? So there you go. Uh, next up, I want you to stop or rather pause your video and then get a piece of paper, write down one to 16 and see what you can remember. Don't worry if you can't remember everything or you may not know the exact name of something, describe it. Uh, that's probably a good way just to show that you're making that connection and that there's some memory there. But remember what I always say, it's all good brain work, whether you get perfect or not, it's just that process of, of thinking. Okay, see you soon. How'd you do? Let's find out. I'm gonna bring the items back out onto the table in no particular order, because I honestly can't really remember the way that I've taken them back. So I probably won't have them exactly in the same order or on the table in the same way. I do though. Remember I started with the yard waste bag, right? Do you remember this one here? You probably see these around your neighborhood, right? Everyone's out in the garden with these upright all opened up, putting their leaves and sticks and that kind of thing into them. Okay, we also have Remember what I said happens uh, in April, we get lots of rain. So we've got rain boots. Maybe yours are not gonna be quite as jazzy as mine, but uh, always good to keep your feet dry when it's raining. And also for the rain, we've got umbrella, right? Because we know that uh, we get lots of rain and we want the rain to make the flowers grow. Also, we want the sunshine, that also helps, and we want to sort of protect ourselves from the sun. We've got a sun hat, okay? And we've got, what are we gonna put on our face and our skin to protect it from the sun? Sunscreen, all right. And then we're out in the garden. We're probably gonna use our handheld clippers to clip off sort of some of the dead parts of the plant. We're going to, uh, fight the bugs, right? If we start to get um, flies and bugs out there, we're going to use our fly swatter to kill them. That's kind of an old fashioned way of doing it. There's so many other things now you can do for the bugs, but fly swatters are kind of fun. Uh, we've got our, we're going to dig up things in the garden. Can you remember what we had for that? Our trowel. This is a particularly pretty one there that's got some flowers on it. We've got our, oh, I forgot our sunglasses as well. So we've got our hat and our sunglasses and sunscreen. Hopefully you remembered to write down sunglasses. Maybe we'll put them right, right there on top of the umbrella. Can you see that? We've got gardening gloves to protect our hands when we're putting our hands in that dirt, right? Don't wanna mess up our nails or whatever else. Can you see those there? Maybe I'll just put them on top of the hat. So they kind of show up. And then we're out with our hose. This is our hose nozzle so that we can um, change the pressure of the water coming out depending on what we need. Can you see that there? And then we're gonna get into some of our seeds. Remember my package of seeds here? Do you remember what kind of seeds they were? Radishes, I don't know if you like radishes, but um, here's a package of radish seeds. Put that right down next to our trowel. And then uh, we've got pots, terracotta pots to put your little plants in. 
we're gonna go out for a ride on our right <laughs> on our bike we've got our bike bell I kind of like the sound of this let me do it again one more time uh oh there you go nice sound for spring right we know that the the kids are out or someone's out riding their bike getting some exercise um, all you skippers out there here's our skipping rope right double dutch whatever kind of skipping you want to do here's a nice colorful skipping rope I'll just put that there and I've got two more things for the gentlemen. I shouldn't just say gentlemen because lots of women like to do this activity too, but uh, I have some golf accessories or golf ball and then I've got the golf tees here. I'm going to put it right down here at the front. Certainly something the better weather all those golfers get excited right there. And then finally, can you remember what the last item was? something that we're all um, using and coveting these days <laughs> in our house because you can't always get it at the store uh, hand sanitizer right very important for these days for this time that we're living through okay you guys so there you go check off your list see how you did um, you know if you didn't get them all no big deal but hopefully it, it got you thinking it got your mind working maybe got some discussion going maybe brought back some memories okay well thanks for joining me and uh, have a great rest of the day we'll see you soon thank you mm -hmm.